What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Von Doom. So let's get into it. Matrix 4. Um, I think it had a 100 to 150 million dollar budget. Um, I think it was around 60, 70 million dollars in the box office. Um, that wasn't too good. The majority of people that after watching it, uh, the majority of people didn't like it. The majority of people were disappointed. I I personally enjoyed the movie because I knew what I was getting into. Um, what we're we're gonna have a conversation about um, leaving when when is it time to leave a franchise alone, right? Um, unfortunately, the movie lacked a lot of things that people were expecting that was in the last trilogy. Um, there weren't too many cool fight scenes. weren't too many cool like um characters that returned um unfortunately it was just really disappointing to people and i think lana wachowski deliberately made the movie the way it is for a reason if you know if you're if you've been looking and researching into before the movie dropped um lana wachowski had a couple interviews to where she said she didn't want to make the movie in the first place and she told people that uh warner brothers was making like a bunch of offers and throwing her money and stuff like that and she was like nah i don't want to do it um and she said that she had some tragedies in her life and all she could think about after them those tragedies was trinity and neo and so i guess that's what motivated her to create the matrix four um when it comes to love stories i ain't gonna hold you man love kind of throws everything else out the window um, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason why the movie is the way it is. Um, I think Lana Wachowski deliberately made that movie and the fourth wall, me at me, like rewatching scenes and stuff. I've come up with this, with this, this hypothesis as to why the movie is the way it is. And a lot of the, 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 the first act is a lot of fourth wall breaking the movie being aware, aware of itself. But, I. A lot of people say it's a take on reboots. It is a take on reboots. But I think she's literally jabbing at Warner Brothers. Which brings me to my point. The conflict between art, the artist, and the business. Right? The conflict between the art, the artist, and the business. Um, artists are very sensitive about their visions. I'm a hip hop artist. I, uh, I'm also a illustrator. I create comics and stuff like that. I have a specific vision for a specific story. I have a specific beginning a specific middle, a specific end. The Wachowski sisters created the matrix back in 1999 and created their trilogy. They had the beginning, the middle and the end. And they did what they had to do and they were finished with it as an artist i think the most disrespectful thing to do is to try and reboot something throw them money and if what was in the movie was true be like yo we're going to we want you to make this movie but if you don't want to make it we'll do it without you because if you remember the scene with neo and agent smith agent smith was like hey warner brothers wants us to make this matrix 4 and they said they're going to do it whether we're involved or not i don't think that's too far from reality from what happened to lana wachowski even her sister the other wachowski was like nah part of this this the matrix is a part of my life that i'm in a stage of my life that i'm no longer in and i can respect that um prime example of art ver with the conflict of art the artist and the business berserk let me tell y'all something i'm a grown man right but i almost shed a, i almost shed a, a thug tear when i found out about kentaro miura this is a perfect example of the art the artist and the business berserk is probably considered one of the greatest mangas of all time guts is probably one of the great like one of considered one of the like top 
five manga anime heroes right berserk is an amazing story the art is impeccable there's only certain mangas or anywhere anything that can rival the art that kentaro miura did right unfortunately um around the summertime he passed away and their team was deciding and i think the manga was it dark horse or are they still on I, I don't remember they were deciding whether or not to continue with the story right this is a good example because kentaro miura is now going they took they did uh one more chapter um based off that the, the last chapter was directly kentaro miura so now now that the vision the direct vision is gone what are you going to do with the story they don't know whether or not they want to continue they don't know whether or not whether they want to stop and i'm gonna be honest with you berserk is so beloved and it's such a compelling and amazing story that there's that conflict of what happens if we do something new or what happens if our team continues and it doesn't it doesn't fit the legacy and the greatness that Kentaro Miura had. And it's like you never want to ruin a legacy as great as something like Berserk. It's the same thing with the Matrix. And at this time, uh Kentaro's team is respecting his legacy and i don't think they're like moving forward with that they just want to keep it the way it is and man the cliffhanger that they left bruh it's almost to where i think like it's it's just destined bro like i if 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 they never make a berserk chapter again i'm satisfied i'm cool because the what what, what kentaro miura left behind is brilliant and you never want to tarnish that legacy just because you can make money off of it no and their team respect their their mentor that much they love him that much that they 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 don't even don't even know if they need if they want to continue that's a really perfect example of the art the artist in the business even the business respects his legacy and his vision enough to let it lay to rest with him because the idea the vision left with kentaro right perfect example of when to leave a franchise alone now i'm pretty sure there might be some things that kentaro might have left for his team if there's some notes if there's a certain ideas but you will never i don't think any of his team will ever have the direct concrete mirror image of his imagination of what the rest of berserk is supposed to be I, you can never fit you're never going to know You'll, you're never going to know the, the the different adventure that his team thinks guts would have compared to what he thinks guts would have or the final or the final uh last couple chapters of guts in in griffith meeting face to face you don't know and it's in it's too much of a risk to to try and do it over you know what i'm saying perfect example and unfortunately in the in the situation of matrix 4 the business overruled the art and the artist so now when you have created something you've put your heart your mind your soul into it to 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 the the going from the imagination to putting it on paper to putting it through whatever type of medium that you have to put it through to make it tangible to setting it out there letting everybody see your vision and your story to ending that story and then laying it to rest you put your heart and soul into all of that just for the business to come and throw money at you and be like yo bring it back from the dead we want a cash grab if not we're going to do this without you because i'm pretty sure i guess warner brothers has the rights to the matrix so now rather than have somebody else do your ideas do your visions do your characters do you're like I, I can't have nobody else do what I did, so I guess I might as well do it myself. And I'm pretty sure what Lana did was a was a jab at Warner Brothers. As to say, you're messing with my art and you're messing with me. So I'm just going to take make a take at 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 
the process of Hollywood and reboots, you know? To be honest with you, I don't really think The Matrix 4 was about The Matrix 4 at all. Or The Matrix story. It was a love story, and I'm pretty sure she did that intentionally because it probably filled a void in her um, off since she had like uh she had a lot of things going on before the matrix and she had a lot of tragedy going on in her life i'm pretty sure that filled a void for her but i'm pretty sure the rest of that movie was a jab at warner brothers i may be wrong let me know in the comments i may be wrong but my point is there are some times where the business interferes with the art and the artist when they have finished something and just for the sake of money there's a risk in ruining the art that you already that you've been created and now you know you could you, it could have been better or could have been worse most of the time when you finish something and you try to bring something back especially when you're not motivated to do that and you're motivated by something like i don't know like money when i'm pretty sure the wachowskis are already rich so they probably weren't as motivated to do something so Lana, I'm pretty sure, like I said, after the tragedy, she was motivated, but I don't think she was motivated for the right reason. I think she was using Neo and Trinity as an expression of herself to mend some voids and some scars and wounds based off what happened um, in her life. That's just me. Um, but unfortunately, the past couple of years, there's been a renaissance of reboots that Hollywood has been trying to do sitcoms shows full house saved by the bell uh i i've seen our i carly's coming back them niggas is drinking and dating um you got ghostbusters you got um that it movie around that time i think that was a couple summers ago they got sequels to that um there's a bunch of movies and shows that are just rebooted i think hollywood is afraid to create things new and what they're doing right now is tugging on the heartstrings of the middle age and 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 using nostalgia to gain money from the adults that long for be long for their childhood once again to ease the pain of adult life that's what they're doing um and unfortunately uh this cash grab uh with nostalgia failed unfortunately i think lana refused to let the business threaten her art and i think she i don't know she might have sacrificed the art f just to make a message that's all i got um let me know if you are entertained um if you are entertained by my videos uh hit a like and subscribe um i got some more videos coming through um yeah um i yeah i got i think i'm gonna have another video tomorrow well just you know like and subscribe and hit the little bell and then you'll see my stuff but um leave a comment if you like this video and um i'll be back soon y'all peace out